Hey guys, I'm Dan D from Music Marketing. I'm gonna show you guys ImageLine's FL Studio. Now I have a really quick run through here on ImageLine. I have a basic setup. I do make beats on the subway, on the bus, and this is my typical rig when I do so. So you don't need much to make music. So here we go, I'm gonna show you guys how I make music on ImageLine's FL Studio. All right, so there's a quick loop with the step sequencer. I'm going to pretty much bring out my most favorite VST from ImageLine called Harmer. This thing can do crazy stuff, but I'm just gonna show you briefly how it works. So we're going to use that chord progression and now that I like the sound that I've created, I'm going to use the piano roll and I'm going to draw in my notes because when I'm in the subway or when I'm on the go, it's not really easy to play music. So I'm going to just draw in the notes. I'm going to hold the keys that I want. Move it out a bit. Bit more. Let's move on to the next chord. The next chord. And the very last chord. And there you have it. Now what I'm going to do with the piano roll is I'm going to use a quick tool called Chop and this is going to change the way that it's played. Cool, so now we have a bit of a housey feel. I can do simple things like automate this. But I'll do that last. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take what I have here, this really basic loop, and I'm gonna make sure it's a song. I'm gonna make sure all of the sounds are in its own pattern. So now I have kick on one, clap on two, hi-hat on three, and so on. And when I go to the playlist, I can draw my song. Start off with the chords. So 
So there is my song, my hit song. And I told you guys I would do automation and I can quickly do that by right clicking, create some automation on the master fader so I can have an outro. And now the volume is fading out. After I've uh, painted out my song, I'm gonna go into the mixer and make sure everything sounds really good. At the moment, I don't have anything on the mixer. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my channels, select them all, and paste them right on the board really quickly. Now I can do things like EQ, parallel compression. And what I love about ImageLine's parametric EQ is that you can see and hear the frequencies you wanna mess around with. So I can do something like that. I can do parallel compression with the kick drum, organize everything, color code, you name it. So that's pretty much it for ImageLine's FL Studio. That was a very quick run through. For more information, call your Sweetwater sales engineer. I'm Dandy from Music Marketing. I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.